Hello. Okay. So, hello, my name is Geronimo, and in this work, we investigate how interactions can be designed for simultaneous uh, object manipulations in collaborative asymmetric environments that combines virtual and augmented realities. Uh, this work was done in collaboration with Henrique de Barba and Anderson Maciel at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. Uh, in the context of collaborative virtual environments, asymmetry represents the c capability uh, of individuals in a group to have different means to visualize and interact with virtual content. In this way, users interact through completely different sentimental uh, configurations and build distinct, distinct pers perspectives and shared experiences. Uh, for instance, asymmet asymmetry can vary in scale, where different users have different sizes in the virtual environment. For example, one of them could be a giant, and the other one could uh, have human scale. And in visualization, where different participants use different uh, devices, uh, such as uh, head-mounted display and the projection, projection in this case, the second case, and interactions where the way that, that users interact with virtual objects are different. Uh, it can be both in device or interaction metaphor. And depending on the design, uh, these dimensionalities are linked together. Uh, while the majority of previous works only allow for a single user to have the ownership of specific objects in the virtual environment. Uh, in our work, we focus on simultaneous collaborative manipulations, where two or more users join forces to modify the attributes of uh, same, the same object at the same time. In our case, we are uh, dealing with uh, 3D manipulations. Uh, there are some approaches for simultaneous manipulations of 3D objects in real world. Uh, when two people hold the same object, uh, <clears throat> the objects create a physical link between the partic participants, and tangible user interface interfaces replicates this behavior uh, in virtual environments. On the other hand, while twists are mo the most intuitive uh, because of the physical, this physical link, it's uh, rather limited by the, the shape of the prop user. Uh, other approaches make uh, this virtual link, uh, a virtual link between the users and the objects. And we are more interested in these approaches. So here I will show an overview of the environment created and how users can interact with uh, this asymmetric configuration. Uh, if this virtual link, uh, that, uh, that a virtual link, in our setup, two collocated users uh, manipulate through the objects, uh, one in immersive VR and another one using handheld AR. Um, and when they select the object, rays, uh, the ray is casted from the device to the object that they are manipulating. And also, we draw some icons representing the manipulations they, that they are doing. So here's a video about, so they are trying to uh, translate and rotate, uh, scale the object to uh, place in a cert certain position. And this is the view in this case. And this is the view of the virtual uh, when they, they, they are using the virtual headset. And the main goal of this work was to investigate how asymmetric interactions affect performance and collaborative behavior when compared with symmetric approaches. Uh, we we received our study with uh, um, users sharing the same uh, physical space while keeping also the, the view perspective and scale and dimensionality as well. Um, okay. And we, do, we have done these evaluations with uh, 3D docking task. Uh, that's the idea uh, that uh, the one object have to move, they have to move the object to a certain position and orientation and align position, rotation, and scale. Um, okay, now I'll show some uh, how they interact with these objects. First, uh, with the handheld AR. Uh, so, they do touch gestures to move, rotate, and scale the object. They also can uh, use the device position, so they can move the, the tablet uh, 
the iPad and move the object as well and rotate. And they are doing uh, distant man manipulations. We don't need to like grab the object to move them. So that's the idea. Okay. And we took this idea of distant manipulations and adapted for VR interactions. So, oh, sorry. Uh, so in this case, they are manipulating uh, the objects at distance uh, with the vir virtual, uh, with the three D um, controllers, and you can do also scale and by manual by manual interactions uh, manipulations as well. In this case, so okay, and we perform. It performed an evaluation comparing uh, this distant approach with the virtual hand approach in a single user scenario uh, to compare the performance and workload on both of both techniques. Uh, since the virtual hand is the benchmark, but has limitations for simultaneous manipulations. Um, it was faster to dock the virtual objects with the virtual hand approach, as seen in this graph. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it wa there was no significant difference in workload. It was not expe expected since the virtual hand was much, uh, it's always easier to, to, uh, to interact with. But for precision, both techniques were equivalent in workload. Um, and particip participants uh, reported uh, that virtual hand was easier than distant manipulations and also they report that with more training, maybe this uh, distant manipulations could uh, uh, outperform virtual hand in the future. Okay. So, with these two interfaces, we proceed with the asymmetric interaction evaluation. Uh, to remind you, our question was how asymmetric interactions affect performance and collaborative behavior when compared with symmetric approaches. Uh, in this experiment, we had three conditions. Two symmetric, that was both users' in immersive virtual reality, this first one. And the second uh, condition was both users uh, using handheld devices. And the third condition was the asymmetric. Uh, we also add uh, the co-manipulation variable into play, where users could either manipulate the same object simultaneously or different object, objects, but same objects, but, but trying to dock one into another. So they have to, they are manipulating different objects, but they have to couple one into another object. Um, okay. And we took the measurements of time, collabor collaboration, and social presence. Okay. And we have uh, two main uh, hypotheses on this paper. One was that VR, VR will be the fastest, and AR, AR will be the slowest, and the symmetric approach will be in the middle of the two conditions. And regarding social interaction, uh, we, we hypothesize that even if participants experience the virtual environment in different realities, they can be aware of each other and create strategies that take advantage of each uh, interface. Uh, so jumping to the results of this uh, evaluation, uh, looking only to the performance of each interaction mode, uh, the test revealed that uh, the VR VR uh, outperforms both AR AR and VR AR conditions in time to complete the task. Uh, it was uh, expected since uh, the manipulations are easier to do with uh, the the, uh, the controllers. Uh, and to understand what's happening during the docking trials. We measure the user's participant, participation score. What's possible to note on this first graph is that the participation score of the asymmetric approach was lower than the symmetric approaches. 
This can indica indicate that the work is not evenly distributed among the users, and further investigation showed that VR users were more active in this condition, the asymmetric condition. Uh, looking at the co-manipulation variable, where users are either manipulation, manipulating the same or different objects independently. Uh, <coughs> uh, users were, are, more, uh, are significantly more active than when they are manipulating different objects than the same object. Uh, and, it, and we think that it's because the people want to uh, have the ownership of the objects when they are manipulating them. At the, and for social presence, uh, the test failed to reject equality for all the three factors of social present presence evaluated. Uh, in this evaluation, we have used the standard questionnaire, the network minds of social presence that assess different social presence dimensions. The take here is that in all conditions, independently of the interaction mode used, uh, experience it, users can be aware of each other and have uh, of the environment, they can rely on each other to accomplish the tasks, but are not tied or strictly dependent of each other actions. So the discussions. Uh, among the discussions we have in the, this, in the paper, on one interesting question is, what are the reasons for the unbalanced, unbalanced partic participation in the asymmetric uh, approach? One answer could be the observed uh, division strategy adopted by the pairs, but this division strategy uh, occurred in all conditions. Another difference that could lead to these differences were, could be the field of view disparity uh, of the Oculus and the iPad, and also the interaction metaphor used in both uh, conditions, and stereoscopic as well. Stereoscopy as well. And lastly, and why the asymmetric condition did, uh, did, didn't lead to worse social presence? We think that the collocation and the precise voice communication in low latency uh, helped with these uh, uh, results. Okay, thank you. Nice work, uh, Bernd Fröhlich from Weimar University. Um, you talked about simultaneous manipulation and that it didn't perform so well or wasn't used so often, I guess. Uh, and the question is always, if you have simultaneous manipulation, you have so many, only have six degrees of freedom, yes. maybe seven, and yes. uh, how do the people coordinate which degrees of freedom are manipulated simultaneously. If they're manipulating the same degrees of freedom, there's maybe a conflict. Okay, uh, good question. Um, uh, uh, the technique allows uh, for more than one person uh, to manipulate the same object at the same time, but normally what happened, we're, we're, we're observing the results, they, and observing them doing the, the, the experiment, they, are try, they try to, uh, di, di, uh, use a division strategy. So uh, one can be like doing only rotations and another one can just uh, translate. Uh, norm, maybe when we are in uh, interaction disadvantage, uh, maybe you can like choose a simple task to do and the, when you are in advantage, you can, uh, the other person could like do more uh, manipulations. That's why it, it was a difference uh, between the participant participation score as well. So, so, so the manipulation was actually complementary in most cases, right? Yes, in yes. In that sense. Yes. Uh, that, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.